Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Now this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with these very simple uh, uh, words, trendy no-shows. Are you aware that sometimes all that glitters is not gold? And sometimes you will see the glitter, beneath the glitter and the glamour is, is just filth and rubbish and, and nothing to, to really uh, go by. I mean, sometimes you'll be very, very surprised how sometimes we, we, we overdo just to present something, the blooming and all those other things. Uh, you think that this is it. But in reality, when you poke your little finger into it and say, nah, 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 this is just skin deep. Now, in the days of Abraham, in Genesis 24, 2 to 4, in the days of Abraham, now Abraham called Eliza, and here was a prospective prince, that is Isaac, who needed a wife desperately. And Isaac was a prince who was about to inherit that which will raise the eyebrows of every uh, uh, lady who is interested in wealth and finances. Why? Because at Abraham's table at that time, Abraham moves as a nation. So Abraham is a nation in himself and he deals with nations around him as a nation. And the Bible says about 300 men eat at his table breakfast, lunch, supper. So you can imagine, apart from the 300 men eating, what about the women? What about the children? And he was feeding them on a daily basis, breakfast, lunch, and supper. And so Abraham was multi, multi-millionaire and my very good friend. And, uh, you know, the papa, uh, we all call him, uh, Archbishop Duncan Williams, we'll call it that. He was a mogul. He was a mogul. And that means, boy, I mean, he was, his father was brutally rich. That was Abraham. Because Abraham's wealth was so powerful that it threatened the nations around him who told him, please get away from us. You're too rich for us. So Abraham, I mean, Isaac was a higher parent. He was a prince who was going to inherit all those other things. I mean, so uh, Isaac would be a lucky catch. He was also a very godly person. You must understand. He went with his father all the way to the altar of sacrifice. You didn't hear a whimper. You didn't hear a complaint from him. So Isaac was a real prince charming. And Isaac was a prince that every woman would say, wow, I want that. You know, um, maybe some women would say, I want that. And at the time of Isaac's, uh, eligibility for marriage when Isaac really wanted to get married Isaac must get married Abraham called Eliza in Genesis 24 2 to 4 and gave him a stern warning and the warning he gave to him is don't choose a wife for my son I want you to go somewhere else and choose a wife for my son from outside our border outside this country in which I live outside the girls who live in this place oh wow so at the time when a Prince Charming was coming through, at the time when, I mean, the, uh, the most eligible bachelor with wealth and pomp and pageantry behind him and the wedding was going to be a super O and everything that comes with it, the Bible said, Abraham said, don't choose any of these girls. Rather go somewhere else and import. So those girls, and, and I'm, I can tell you this, I mean, those girls will be trendy, they'll be fashionable, they'll be everything. But Abraham looked at them and said, they don't have the commensurate character that will match their beauty for my son. So Abraham had done a study of them. So he was watching them and watching their manners, watching their character traits, watching the things they were doing. So they were high fluff and nothing else. They were just airheads. Other people that they don't have strength of character. And Abraham said, don't choose a wife from these girls. I don't want them as relatives. I don't want them as in-laws. Because they are wahala, bundle of wahala. All that glitters is not gold. So we, behind, the, behind the, the dress, behind the makeup, and behind everything that they could offer, behind the beauty facade they had, which was only skin deep, they had character traits. And they had things that Abraham did not want. Even to the extent that uh, when uh, Eliza said to Abraham, so if I don't find it, he said, then you absorb from them. Don't look for a wife for my son again. Wow. That Abraham had looked through them and then watched them with time in such a way that he said, I don't want these type of people for my son. You know, people are watching you and sometimes we do not even know it. And you'll be very, very surprised. Young man, 
People are watching you. A young lady, people are watching you. And people are watching you, whether they can partner you in business, people are watching you, whether they can partner you in relationship, people are watching you, whether they can partner you in different, different, different things, people are watching. So since you have a crowd of witnesses and a crowd of watchers who constantly and consistently keep watching you, who constantly and consistently keep watching what you're doing, what you're saying, what you, uh, your, your, your acts, your thoughts, your, your speech, I mean, they're watching to see who you are in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. They're watching all. I've known of situations where, I mean, somebody wanted to go into a party and they said, eh, that girl, no, 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 eh, no, my friend. Or somebody would then say, that, that young guy, eh, don't, 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 don't. Meanwhile, if you look at them, on the outward, everything sounds all right. But on the inner, full of rubbish. And serious character defects, deformities. That cannot. Nobody wants to marry a, a girl. People want to marry a wife. Nobody wants to marry a boy. People want to marry a husband. So guess what? People are watching. Don't be trendy, but no show. When you need it most. See you later.